Hello guys, and in this video, we're going to learn how we can optimize the instructions that we give to Copilot in order to gain more efficiency. In this case, I have created a dummy sample for you, if you could call that. It's basically a prompt that I gave to Copilot, which says to create a presentation on the importance of environmental changes like global warming and deforestation and addressing the causes, adverse impacts, and solutions to these problems. Here you can see that as soon as I gave it the prompt, it created a wonderful presentation for me. But you see, there were some limitations and some of the things that I didn't really like. That's why I gave it a prompt that it's great, but make slide one more interactive, maybe add some GIFs. Now, this, what you see right here, was not the actual image I had first off. It was pretty plain image. So I asked it to do so. It said me that it can't do that. So I told it that no problem, you can make slide one more engaging, that it again asked me that I'm not able to do that. This is the sort of limitation you can face with Copilot. And then eventually I told it to just add the title of Save Earth, Save Humanity in slide one instead of introduction. It again told me that it can't do that. So at times, Copilot can become like a resistant child and it can keep saying that I can't do that and I can't do this. So some of the times you have to divert yourself from Copilot to Designer tab. Once I did so, I got multiple options to choose from. This is the sort of thing I had earlier, which I didn't personally like. I liked more of a subtle look like this one, and then the job was done. It created an amazing starting with the quotation of Savor to Save Humanity, which conveys a really subtle message of the alarming situation, adverse environmental changes that are coming by. So that is how I had optimized my instructions with respect to Copilot and the Designer tab. I used them mutually together and found out an easier way to help me create a better presentation. You see, as soon as I move to different slides, it gives me different options, different sort of designs I can select. And this is something that looks really nice. The same goes for global warming. I can go ahead and choose this one. Then I can go to the solutions. Now, again, going to designer tab, it can give me multiple sort of ideas that I can choose from. And the conclusion looks really awesome. Here, if you want to add some images, you can go ahead and choose any of the things from designer tab and the job will be done. So you see this whole chat I have with Copilot Autobot is basically an example of how you can use and leverage Copilot and optimize the instructions, the prompts you give in order to get your desired results. Not always will it give you the response that you want, but you need to cooperate with it and maybe change the way you're asking your questions and putting forward your prompts in order to get better results. That was all. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, keep learning. You got to keep trying different stuff and this will really help you out in order to make good sound changes into your presentations. Thank you very much for this lesson and good luck. Keep learning, keep trying and keep exploring. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there and Click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.